Hello? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a new video for you and I'm going to be trying out fiberglass nails. I have tried it out in the past and it was okay. It wasn't like so perfect, but I want to try it again and give it like a real deal like what can I say? <laughs> like a real deal um review like like really doing it and like really putting my mind into it i'm just gonna do them square because i don't know how to really do them really really good so we're just gonna go square and we're just gonna go that route <laughs> and we're just gonna try something new you guys so i'm gonna be using fiberglass and i got this from amazon and i think it was like six dollars i will try to link the one that i bought if i can't because it's like not available anymore because i did buy this almost a year ago almost um then i will link something else i'm also going to be using easy flows gel it in clear and blush it i don't know which one to use so i'm going to just put both on the table um double dips top and base coat and i'm also going to just be using some brushes uh this is just like a square ended brush and then this one is a oval or round whichever one you want to call it and yeah you guys so there's no tips required in this this is your tip in reality and yeah so we're just gonna get right into it i don't know what i'm doing i am just going off the brim i seen a couple of videos about it and i was like you know what let me try it again and see if it really really does work and i just want to try it and yeah i'm trying to get out of my comfort zone for 2021 and try new things and this is definitely <laughs> something that i want to give a go again and see how i really liked it and see if i can do it better this time around so let's get into this it's going to be probably a long video because i want to show you how to do it also the way that i do it or just different things and we could just learn together so let's just get into that okay you guys so first things first i'm just going to go in with a fine sanding bit and i don't know what number this is probably like a 20 or i don't even know you guys i don't know by numbers but i do know this is a fine fine one <laughs> um this is the rougher one and this is the smoothest so i'm just gonna show you this one is like really really rough and then this one is super super smooth so uh wait sorry wrong one just kidding this one is really really smooth and this one is really really rough i might use this one in today's video today also and then you have this one which is fine which is like in the middle of both of these so i'm just going to put my drill at 5 rpm and i'm just going to prep my natural nails you guys and just super quick. okay you guys so now i'm just going to go in with a base coat and i'm going to do this on all of my nails just a nice thin layer actually you know what i'm gonna go in with some primer first so i'm just gonna use an easy flow primer and i'm just going to prime my nails really quick okay so now that they're all primed primed la 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 <laughs> Now that they're all primed, I'm just going to go in with a thin coat. Of gel. Okay, now I'm just going to open my clear gel by Easy Flow, and I will be using my clear. And I'm also going to take out a couple of these microfibers. Just a few, because we don't need that many. I'm just gonna take them out, and I'm gonna take one right now. They're like so stuck together. See, like you can take them apart. So that's kind of cool. Right? 
and I'm just going to place this down and I'm going to take my nail glue and I'm just going to roll it so they can separate. Okay. And as you separate them, it becomes wider. To fit whatever nail you are trying to put on so let's see if it fits perfect actually I want to make it a little bit more wider because I'm weird like I said I'm not doing these too long so I'm just going to take my brush oval one I'm gonna dip it in my clear and I'm actually gonna take this napkin right here and I'm gonna dip my brush in clear just so the clear can get inside and make the brush a little bit more smoother I'm just going to do this back and forth and as you see the clear is penetrated inside of the brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of clear and I'm going to paint it on like this I'm just gonna paint it on halfway just so I can stick on the actual microfiber. Okay, and I'm just going to cure this. Now I'm just going to cut it the length that I want. So I'm just gonna cut it to there just so it can give me a little bit of room to play around if I wanted to. Actually, I kind of feel like I should have left that on. So when I do the... No, I don't think I did. I don't think I needed to. So let's try to brush this on. To the actual microfiber. Like this. Okay, and then I'm just going to cure it. I'm sorry if you see a fly in here. I still haven't been able to kill the other fly. So if you see a fly, <laughs> yeah. It'd be like that sometimes, you know? Okay, you guys, so then I'm just gonna put this clamp on like this. And I'm going to cure that a little bit more just to get that C curve, as you can see underneath. It's kind of curving. Okay, so I just want to move on to the other ones. And like I said, I'm just going to make this a little bit wider. Like that. This one doesn't have to be so wide because this is going on this finger. And I'm just going to take a little bit of clear, put it on half of the nail. I'm going to grab this, I'm going to place it on, just like that, sidewall to sidewall. Just like that, and I'm just going to cure that. 
Okay, and instead of me cutting it, I'm actually going to apply the clear and see how that works out. Like I said, you guys, this video might be a little bit long. We are trying something. Okay, let's cure that. I'm just using these clips to get a nice C curve. Okay, you guys, so now I am just going to cut the extra microfiber that we don't need. Okay, so I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but I'm just gonna put some underneath because I just don't like the sound of the fiberglass. So I want it to be a little bit more. I'm just gonna put some gel underneath my nails before I start building them up. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a thin layer to all of them. Like if I'm just brushing on paint. And this is gonna be my slip. Then I'm just going to build it up.
overall they all came out nice except my pinky is a little bit crooked but I feel like if I was to shape them up they wouldn't be they feel nice and sturdy um, which is really nice and they have that nice I don't know if you can see they kind of look straight but then they look a little bit curved to me I don't know <laughs> maybe not but to me that's kind of how they're looking so I'm just going to take a nail file and I'm just going to start shaping them up into a nice square nail you guys
Okay, you guys, so this is how they came out. I'm going to be using these two colors, and I'll probably use a matte. I love them. They look really, really nice. Um, would I do this? Just so I don't have to use tips? No. Mm -mm. It's a lot of work. Um, I do see why like some people use it to repair the nail because it is nice and it looks like your natural nails. But I just, I don't know. They feel kind of weak to me. Like, I feel like it's just to repair like a natural nail. But other than that, they are really nice. I'm just going to see how they look with some polish on. So I'm going to be using Nail Addicts Sea Swing and Sun. And we're gonna see how they come out. I'm just gonna use my little lamp, just so I can do this really quick. Oh, what do you guys think is like my favorite? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think something, I think Okay, you guys, so I'm not going to use the Bliss Pink by Nail Addict. I'm actually going to go in with the Africa White. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to do pink butterflies. And I'm like, if I do pink in everything, it's just not going to come out right. So I'm just going to do these also. I'm going to just take my scissors and cut out the ones that I want to use. And let's see. So I kind of want to use... This one, I need five. Okay, this one, this one too much. Right here, then you can really use, this one's really pretty too. I want pink, not purple, so I want to use the neck on the bottom, and I think, let me try some. I think I'll just go with this one too.
so yeah you guys this is how they came out i am in love i love them so much they're so cute but they look really nice i don't know why the camera is doing that i think it's because of the way that it is outside but they came out so nice they look okay i love them they look they look really nice with the pink butterflies look how cute i love them so much they're too cute 